misled as she continued a service in Africa, met a missionary engineer and they planned to get married. But three hindrances stopped them. First is, he is a widower who lost his wife. Secondly, Miss Lade's family in France needed a financial support because she was the eldest daughter in the family, after which there were many children. Thirdly, she had to settle in Africa because this missionary engineer had a long time goal year. So when they decided about the marriage, Miss Lade told the missionary, I don't think the family will accept this proposal. But the missionary said, talk to your mom, let's see what happened. So Miss Laid one day shared her thoughts to her mom, telling that she wanted to marry this missionary who was a widower, wanting to settle in Africa, which means she won't be able to support the family much. And finally, a travel to France wouldn't be possible sometime immediately in the following years. She knew a mother would say no. But after a deep silence, a mother started to cry and she said, well, please marry him. Because when I was your age, I also wanted to marry a missionary and settle serving God. But unfortunately, I married your father and my missionary dreams of serving God went away. I always prayed to God, God, forgive me, I had come far from your call. And God, I used to say, if you have really forgiven me, then Lord, one of my children should become a missionary. A mother said, well, God has answered my prayer and forgiven me. My dear daughter, Miss Laid, please marry him. She really said it with tears flowing down her eyes. Dear friends, here we see Miss Laid falling in love. And what is the unique part of it is the way she approached. Many people fall in love and do things that is not good in the eyes of God. So dear friends, approaching during a marriage is a very important step that young people should know and always have in mind. May God lead many youngsters in how to approach the opposite gender so that they be a blessing to the future generation. Miss Laid married the engineer missionary and they continued to serve Christ in Africa happily. Dear friends, with that note, we come to the end of the story of They Called Me Mama.